hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel so i've created this um really nice um i don't know kind of like a bright look using the saharan and um nubian one palette and i just dipped and dabbed in both of them until i you know got whatever i wanted and i like the look it's not too much so to say and it's not too complicated to recreate and i hope you guys do get to recreate it if you want to see how i achieve this look please keep watching and um please don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and turn on your notification bells and yeah i will see you in my next video bye guys so taking my MAC paint pot and groundwork, I'm just using that to prime my eyes, my eyelids. <laughs> Now I'm taking that shade from the Saharan palette and I'm going to use it as my transition color. Now I'm taking that darker brown, I'm just going to start building up my crease and I'm just going to blend it also with the transition color. Now I'm taking this almost black shade, really dark brown, I'm just going to create like an outer V and um, also blend that into my crease. Now I'm just blending everything together. Now I'm taking this black, I'm just going to tap it slightly at the end and just like tapping and I just use very little. And I just blended it lightly. Now I'm going into this yellowish, greenish, goldish shade. I honestly don't know what this color is, but I'm using a wet synthetic brush and I am creating a cut crease. That wasn't my plan, but um, I just decided to go with that. And the thing with with um, doing cut creases is that when you do it after a few times honestly you can map out how it goes especially when you're using like metallic shades and shimmery shades you can you don't have to use the concealer and do all of that if it's not like an intricate cut crease you know what i mean and i'm just blending everything together going back with the black and also the shimmery shade just to blend everything together now i'm applying mascara this is my um Sleek Cosmetics Mascara in Lethal Length and now I'm just applying some falsies. I had to use mascara on these falsies because they were just really too thin and um, I needed to bring some life to it. At this point I had not applied the falsies. I just kind of shifted that clip to put that with the eyes. Anyways, I am doing my face now and I'm using my Becca Cosmetics Primer to prime my face. And now I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in dark, no sorry, in mahogany. I'm using that to conceal and just hide my dark spots. I'm using my fingers to blend everything. Now I'm using my MAC foundation in um, NW58 Studio Fix Fluid. I am just using this buffing brush to tap it into my skin first and then kind of blend it out using a beauty blender I just blended everything together sorry this video a lot of things are fast because I'm just trying to get through it and I just because I use the same things over and over again at least for now so I used that cocoa at first and then I went in with toast to highlight I'm just blending on the outer part first before going into where I put the toast and we are blended out I use my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set everywhere I just highlighted 
and I'm using my damp beauty blender to put the powder in that way it just I don't know using a damp beauty blender to, to apply the powder just makes it sit so well I'm using my sleek cosmetics brow kit in extra dark to contour my face as always I didn't do too much with the contour just wanted something really light Now with my MAX um, Studio Fix Powder, I'm just blending my contour and my highlight together. And also taking off any excess of the translucent powder that, that's on my face. With that same powder, I am using it to contour my nose. Um, because using the, the contour kit I use for my face it's too dark I notice it just makes my nose look weird so I'm gonna be using my powder now and I'm just using that shade I use for my lid and I'm just lining my lower lash line and taking that black as well just pretty much what I did on the lid the black and the goldish greenish goldish shade now I'm just applying some mascara I am using my Becca um, cosmetic highlighter in Topaz. It's broken, but I saved it up. Hopefully, I'll be able to do the alcohol um, thing where you put it back together. But it's one of my favorite highlighters. And now, using both shades, I am just highlighting my inner corners, the inner corners of my eye. Just nothing too much. And I'm using that Becca highlighter to highlight my brow bone. I also used some of it on the inner corners of my eye just because it was a little bit too whitish for me. And also my nose and my cupid's bow. Now I'm using my blush, my MAC blush in raisins and I'm just blushing up my face a little bit. Little bit. <laughs> little bit. And I'm using my Urban Decay Setting Spray in Oil Control to set my face and just soak and drench in the setting spray. I went ahead to put my wig and I am putting my um, Wet n Wild Brow Pencil in dark brown. Use it to line my lips and I'm just using this clear gloss from Victoria's Secret. So this is the finished look guys. I hope you like the look. It's nothing too complicated. And yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, remain blessed.